make to explain how to fully automate the SLS community gallery uh, crawling of data as well as giving emails to the reviewers. So you need to come to the folder where tech UI is installed. So typically you need to run a command like this. Or for those more novice users, you may want to double click on this. So let's say you run the file. It launches the browser that tech UI runs. Okay. It will go to SLS because uh, tech UI runs its own browser. So you will not have to store your password inside but you just let the browser store the details so it's crawling through sls it keys the two-factor authentication and then it goes to this pending review and it will start crawling So because I had a table counter as one, so it will scroll to the next page first to speed up. So normally what you need to do is you need to reset this back to zero if you want it to crawl from the beginning. So this is what a table counter does. Then you you crawl through all these various data from I from one to the total. And then you will go and get all the necessary data such as title, the type of the lesson which you can see here, the subject, the level, the school, the date submitted. It's all here and it's crawling it. Because this is a, a tedious process so RPA has a, like example tech UI. This type of tool will have a place in doing all these very repetitive steps through a series of scripts ah. so uh, it's crawling okay So now it is at table counter one. And it's reading all the the data. Because there's a lesson that has a lot of un unaccessible URL, so it's scrolling through all of them uh, without the need to crawl out the URL. So the script also will automatically assign the, the this is what it will check for similar lessons whether it's resubmitted you know then it will key in a one if it is resubmitted is zero if it's uh, not resubmitted and then if it's equal to similar, it will do a series of steps. So this is where if the, because SLS by default has a row counter of up to 20, because you notice every page, every table is up to 20. So when it wrote increment to 21, you need to tell SLS to click on the next button. And then the table counter will increment by one. Uh, the row counter will reset back to one and then uh, you will wait for two seconds. So now it's storing all the data and you can see from other output. So the things you need to take care of is you need to check that the, the, re the console has uh, not weird stuff. Let's say this is all done Chinese at primary level because sometimes the reviewer gets overloaded at the primary level so I have changed all the Chinese teachers to all be secondary so that they get a equal distribution among all the pool of Chinese language teachers Malay same thing ok 
okay this has been marked as similar so don't have to worry it will auto assign the same admin this is duplicated okay similar similar okay so it can't do anything okay so everything seems to be working fine so this is the step this is the first step of the automation crawling the data from sls and then populating it into this file so in the file you will see that it will populate this particular data so it crawls out all the data from the second table which is table counter one and it will store the data all the way from the URL and whether it's resubmitted, submitted and then it's, oh, this is all done automatically based on the database that we have in this location so there's a, there's a database of these lessons that we track so this files needs to be updated so it, it, it will check through all this at the very bottom lah. Okay, so later we will we will crawl it back from the web then it actually draws the data of the reviewers from this table so the the reviewers email and, and the number of counts are all uh, taken into account when we assign the lessons for the reviewers to to review